morning. I'm here with uh, Chris Harden of Book Me Solid, and I'm excited about this morning. Uh, we're going to be talking about Facebook Messenger chat bots. And uh, Chris has helped hundreds of realtors scale their business by teaching them how to leverage uh, Facebook Messenger marketing to start conversations and, and meet people right where they are. Good morning, Chris. Good morning. How are you? Oh, doing great. Uh, yeah, I, like I was telling you before we jumped on here, uh, a few weeks ago I watched you uh, interview with Rick Rains. I'm over at the Texas, Texas Rockstar Group at EXP, and and uh, I was like, man, I've got to learn more about this guy, and and um, you know, learning, uh, you know, I always get questions as a coach, you know, how do I utilize social media at a higher level? And I think some of the, you know, the ways that were done before have changed, mm -hmm. and it, I was really intrigued by your product about how you how you're able to jump into conversation um, and not even necessarily be in front of your computer. It's, it's amazing, and so we'll go through that today, but tell me a little bit about yourself and what got you started with Book Me Solid. So what initially got me started with Book Me Solid was about five years ago, um, I worked in corporate America. We just moved into a new house, new city, about six months into that, new baby, six month old baby, and get that notice, hey, we're laying you off, right? Cool. So. Initially, you know, I continued doing what I was doing, but I wanted to do it on my own and structure it around my timeline, not like, you know, nine to five. I wanted to be flexible. I got the new baby, the new family, and I wanted to, you know, kind of create my own thing. But what I found out is, you know, running your own business is worse. So, you know, initially is worse than going to work for somebody else. You, you work a lot more than the nine to five, obviously. Hmm. So, I came, I came upon the concept of chatbots through, you know, I ordered a pizza through Domino's cool. to beat all things. And I've, I've watched other markets adapt to it, but real estate didn't really, no one was really doing it. So I was already working with a couple of realtors generating leads, but you know, it was still up to them to follow up and follow up and follow up and all that. And I just saw like the broken, the broken method there. You know what I mean? Like, it's it's a new age. Mm -hmm. Just because I go to your website doesn't mean I want a phone call. Right. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's different. Yeah. You know, it's different how they communicate today. You know, used to you could pick up the phone and call somebody. Like most of the time when I call somebody now, if they're not expecting my call, it's mm -hmm. goes straight to voicemail. Absolutely. Like voicemail. Absolutely. I mean, I put my phone in airplane mode most of the time unless I'm like expecting something. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. So, I, I kind of realized that, you know, we could start a conversation when they want to start a conversation where they're already at. I don't necessarily have to be involved. It can start and then I can pick up from there. Yeah, I, I love that. For, for those that don't know, because there are some people out there and they just claim they're not techies. I say that's an excuse because if you're not, if you're not learning tech, you're going to get left behind. But what, what is a chatbot? So to put it simple, a chatbot is basically a program conversation. And to to roll it back into the, the 90s, I guess, when you would call somebody and they'd say push one, two, or three, that's elementary version there. Now it's rolled out into Messenger, it's in Alexa, it's in all different vehicles. I just chose Messenger because that's where people are the most. Yeah, so it's basically it's basically a script, right? Some of the traditional scripts that we'd go through maybe to pre-qualify somebody, and now that's being taken over and automated through through what we call a chatbot. Absolutely, it asks this, it asks the very same questions you would ask without you physically having to ask them. Yeah, awesome. Um, when did you choose Messenger as a delivery system, or has that always been when you when you jumped into chatbot, you knew Messenger was going to be the vehicle? When I jumped in, I jumped in all in with Messenger for the simple fact that Facebook owns them and they like to acquire people. So they acquired Instagram, they've acquired uh, WhatsApp, and then just recently they came out with news that you know they're going to take Messenger and WhatsApp and Instagram and kind of make that all one app in the Messenger. Mm -hmm. So them being like a proven company, I know that they're not going anywhere. They'll just adapt to be relevant. You know what I mean? So you don't see, you know, there's always that talk, you know, I, I hear when I go to conventions, you know, they say, you know, social media, you know, it'll be here, it'll be gone. You don't see Messenger leaving anytime soon. 
more people use messenger than use facebook twitter and instagram like messenger you know that's how we connected right right yeah. i i personally use messenger more than i use the phone the text you know what i mean and most people are like that because it connects us with the world yeah my my business coach uh peter weller i don't know if you know peter um you know he jumped on with me the other day using video chat through messenger and i didn't even realize it did that mm -hmm. and i was like holy cow you're, he's like you know, he's, he just jumps right in and it's like, Hey, I'm here. And, and I'm, you know, I opened it up and I'm on video and, right. and I didn't even know messenger had that capability. So speaking of getting acquired, like they acquired, um, Skype a while back and that's what kind of enables and powers that background there. So that's kind of what it's running on for the video and the audio. I didn't even realize they, they acquired uh, Skype. That's, that's really cool. Um, how do you believe it'll increase the business of real estate agents? And is that your primary target is real estate? Yeah, I'm all in on real estate. I mean, obviously I can help other businesses, but I want to, I want to become a thought leader in this space first and be proven out, which we're doing that now. Um, the way it helps them get business is it helps you meet where they're at while they're looking. Right. Yeah. So I, you're, you've built something on a platform where the eyeballs are going. Absolutely. And it's, it's probably less intrusive, right? It's less intrusive. It's less friction. It's one click. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, I was watching um, your, your demo and um, it was, it was talking about how once, once people go to the messenger, you like, you have them and they don't have to, they don't have to necessarily sign up with you or leave any information. It's just once they click, you've, you've got them. Right. They've, they've requested information. We're just delivering it via messenger. And now we have a conversation, but we take it up one step and do a follow up. So the listing bot is delivering your listing, a couple photos, whenever they're opting in, whenever they're saying they want more info, they're, they're going for the price, the location and the details. We're giving them five or six photos, a little bit of details and a button to go view more like on your website to get the full spectrum while they're there it follows up with them two, three minutes later. So that's kind of how it kicks off that conversation versus if you go to a website and you register and it's like a broken conversation, it may not be a good time. That messenger, you know, you could pick that up at any time. And and like, so, like, yeah, so one of the things with the, uh, with the messenger bot, you know, I, I noticed that it pull in pictures and stuff from listings. Is that, is that coming from an MLS feed or how are you all getting those, those pictures or that content into the, the messenger bot? So that's using my template okay. and that's, that's a manual process right now, but over time MLSs will open up and that'd be more of a dynamic process. Okay. Or just cool. be like a click and load. So right now it's, it's probably going to be primarily used a lot by, by agents that list and they have the content, the pictures and, and that sort of thing. You fill out the template and now that becomes part of the, the chat bot. Yeah. I mean, they already have the photos and the details. It's, it's just putting it in a different location. Okay, cool. All right. So I, I always get this and, and I think it's a huge excuse. They say I, I'm not tech savvy. Is, is the chat bot that you've created, do you have to necessarily be tech savvy to make the thing work? You don't because we have a done for you option now because we've, we've run into that. We've run into people that they're like, I want to sell houses. I don't want to do this, this, and this. And for those people, we have that done for you option. So oh, that's, that's for, others, for others, you can learn how to do it in less than an hour. Yeah, that, that's pretty amazing. Uh, you know, and, and I, and I think it's a great product product or service that you're offering to do that because when I'm coaching agents, you know, I, I tell them, you know, stay out of the weeds. You know, if it's not not your thing, leverage and, and find somebody that can do that. So, um, and then it takes away the excuse. They don't, they can't say anymore about tech savvy. Absolutely. Awesome. Um, how do you see chatbots playing a role in the rapidly evolving real estate industry? So we see a lot of tech out there, a lot of different companies saying we have the best tech. Um, I don't know if they're all using things like chatbots. You know, how do you see chatbots playing a role in, in that change within the, within the industry? Well, to start off, I don't have to download a new app. I've already got it. Mm -hmm. And I mean, that used to be the big thing. Download our app, download our app. Well, like if you look at the stats, most people download it, but they may never use it. Mm -hmm. Messenger, you're in it every day. 
So you'll, you know, you'll notice messages. You can get back in front of people with ads within Messenger as well. So I mean, you're you're very connected. Yeah, I see that with agents a lot. You know, download my download my personal app or download you know our company app. You know, that's usually tied back to them as far as as far as leads. But it's it's the it's the other side of it. You know, how do we get the consumer to actually do that? And if we could already be on their phone essentially because they've got the messenger app. You know, we're we're cutting through a lot of that that red tape, right? Absolutely. I mean, they're just following orders. I'm sure there's benefits to the app. But to convince someone to slow down and download that and then actually use it is is like probably not going to happen. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's taking five minutes out of my day to, to download it and then figure out what to do with it versus it could just be in a familiar place and start a conversation. Yeah, I know five years ago I was coaching agents with my, my former brokerage that I was with and, and I'd, I'd coach them to actually ask the person for their phone. And then like download the app because that was about the only way it was going to get on there was if they actually helped them do the process through the process. And, and then what happens exactly what you said is if they're, if they're, they're more than likely not going to use them. Right. So I, I love how you're using messenger because people, like you said, they gravitate towards where the eye, eyeballs are. Yeah. I mean, I'm only really tapping into one, one area of it. There's several different ways to get into messenger. So, I mean, you could actually add a scan code, to your like open house, right? Yeah. They could scan that and it would deliver the same thing. There's that's five cool. or six different ways to get in. Yeah, that's awesome. It's it's like a it's like a honey trap, right? You're, it's not just not just one. You've got several little options that, that pull them back to the messenger app. Um, how do you how do you see mes- messenger evolving? So you're you've talked about some of the acquisitions uh, that Facebook has made. Um, you know, what do you see on the horizon? I really don't know. I mean, they're hard to keep up with because they're they're already like ahead of, of the times in most cases, and then they just buy what they don't have. So whatever the next popular thing is, they just kind of mix it together. But I mean, you've kind of got those independent platforms like Instagram and Facebook, but it all kind of, the conversations are all coming back into Messenger because they're all, you know, putting it back into that one spot. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. So I think I think that's definitely to be the most connected, to be the most receptive, to actually get your message across. Messenger is where it's going to be for the next few years. I don't see it going anywhere. Yeah, and and we talked about it earlier. I think the the way we just communicate, uh, you know, there's some good things about it. There's some bad things about it. Um, yet it is what it is. And, you know, you see that a lot more people are, you know, they've moved away from the telephone, um, you know, they're moving away from email. And, and it's, you, if you go back over time and look at the, the technologies that have evolved, you know, I see social media um, kind of replacing the phone and replacing the, you know, the, the traditional email uh, to some extent. So, you know, I, I don't think it's going away. It might look a little different over time. Yet yeah. the, I think the concept will be be the same for, for a while. It's definitely a different strategy. Um, I'm, I know many people are all for door knocking, mm-hmm. but to give you an example, like we have a guy that comes by once a month. He's, he's very persistent and I, I appreciate the hustle, but we don't know what his name is. He always comes at an inconvenient time. My wife is fighting the dog to keep it in. And, you know, like we, we're not going to do business with him because we, he's just been an inconvenience every month. Mm -hmm. My whole neighborhood is full of people just like that. Mm -hmm. So to, to be in a less intrusive position to start that conversation, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's it's so much simpler to grow. You know what I mean? Like people are still using that outdated stuff that worked even a year ago. Like last month's outdated now with technology, you know. Yeah, you know, I, I see all these real estate companies and they're touting their their technology platforms, and and to me, it's always been kind of the shiny, you know, shiny. I call them squirrels. You know, hey, look at look at this, look at this, and and there there's two two problems is as soon as the technology is developed, it's old. Yeah. And then the you know the second thing is the implementation. You know, how do you get, you know, this big change in technology? How do you get that implemented with, with the agent? And so, you know, I, 
I, I think what I like about this product is it's simple and it's something that they may already be doing for, mm -hmm. for the most part, they, they probably are doing and mm -hmm. they just don't, they don't know maybe the, the opportunities that could come from utilizing a tool that would fit into that. Absolutely. I mean, they're like most agents are already having those conversations. They're just not starting them. You know what I mean? They're not starting them with a cold audience. And that's kind of what a Facebook messenger ad will allow you to do. Yeah. Because you can target that audience and they hop in, they hop in. But you're yeah. not wasting time trying to filter out. Are they just looking or are they really interested? You know? Yeah, it kind of reminds me, I, you know, I was watching the demo and how I was going through and answering some of the questions. You know, it reminded me of a lot of an agent sitting at uh, what we'd call the call desk you know, over the years, you know, when I got started, that was like every agent wanted that time. It was like, you know, people would fight for it, you know, and, and a lot of those questions are, are asked so that once you get to the, the lead, um, you know, that there's a more, a higher likelihood that they're actually a qualified lead versus, you know, something that, you know, there may need to be a few more questions asked or, you know, I'm going to go get in the car with somebody I don't even know, and they, they really haven't shown true motivation. I haven't asked the right questions. This like kind of eliminates the, uh, you know, those questions that could be missed uh, when you're talking to somebody on the phone or you don't necessarily have the experience in the industry yet to, to know all the scripts. And I, I think that's really cool about, uh, about the chatbot. Thank you. And absolutely, like a phone call could linger. It could go on forever. Like people are not really good at cutting a phone call off. So, I mean, people can waste a lot of your time that may not really be qualified, you know? Yeah, they want, they want a friend on the other end of the line, right? And you're there to help them buy or, buy or sell a home. So, um, I saw recently you, you partnered with ManyChat. And uh, what, what benefits does that bring to, to your program? So, that's going to give me a lot more insight and more direct access with them. So, I, as, as just a user, you know, I'm in a big Facebook group. And, you know, there's 100,000 other people in there. Like, if you sign up, you're in there too, if you want to be. But by me becoming a partner, you know, I have direct access. I get, like, instant answers. And then I, I learn about new things that are coming out ahead of time so that I'm already playing with it before it comes out. So it's giving you a chance to evolve your product. And while there might be some other people out there that just, yeah, they've built the product and they're done, technology's old. Absolutely. Uh, for those interested, how, how can they connect with you to, to talk about pricing, to talk about the, the options, to uh, maybe look and view? I know you've got testimonials. How, how do they connect with you? Sure. So to learn more about the product, the best place is the website, bookmesolid.com. But we also have a Facebook community, and that's where you could actually learn how people are using it and ask your own questions in, in there. So you can go to bookmesolid.com slash community, and that'll send you to our Facebook group. Awesome. Awesome. Well, I appreciate you taking the time, Chris, this morning. And I, you know, I apologize. We couldn't get the other. To, it was tech, right? Tech's a blessing. Tech's a curse. We couldn't get it to work to go live. Um, yeah, we'll get this out there for, for individuals to be able to watch. And um, I, I think it's something worth exploring. Um, you know, it's, it's one of those things when you're looking at where to invest your money in your business, is, is putting it in the right place that's gonna give you the, the biggest return on your, on your investment. And um, so I encourage you to take a look at it and see if this might be a fit in your business as a, as a real estate agent. And um, if, if not, at least gain a little bit of knowledge about where the industry might be heading and some of the cool technology that's out there that's, that's being incorporated with, with programs like Messenger. So again, thank you, Chris. Thank you.